Hi, if you've not watched my videos before, I'm Emma and me and my husband bought a three bedroom semi-detached house which we're renovating and this is the story so far. Back in the third lockdown, we sold our first home, packed up and put all of our stuff into storage to wait until we got the keys. When we did complete and finally get the keys, it dawned on us how much work we had to do. We started by taking up the dark red slash orange carpet and stripping the wallpaper. Generally just getting rid of anything we didn't like. When we were stripping the wallpaper downstairs, we realised it would take more time than the upstairs because there was a second layer underneath the top layer and we needed to strip the wallpaper off from the ceilings too. This stage seemed to take forever. While we were busy getting on with that, I called in my brother, who luckily for us is an electrician. He helped us get uh, new plug sockets all over the house, chasing some wires back into the walls and installing spotlights in various rooms. We also decided to remove the coving in the house because a great job hadn't really been made with it. You could see the joints in places and also there was a few pole lights um, which were built into it. This was an effort and it created an almighty mess. It also left adhesive on the wall and the ceiling, which we had to sand down and smooth over. Some chunks of plaster also came away with the coving, which we filled and again sanded down to smooth. The house also required some plastering, as we wanted some of the Artex ceiling skimmed over, a hole in the kitchen fixed and some cracks repaired. After getting around four or five different plasterers, one finally came back with a quote and was able to start fairly quickly. Here are the before and after results. Once the plastering was all done, we started prepping the walls for painting. The walls weren't in a bad condition, but they needed some sanding down before painting. When we finally started painting, we had a lot to do. Not just the walls in every room, but it was the ceilings too, the skirting boards, door frames, radiators, stair banisters, even the hatch to the attic. Just about anything you can think of, we painted it, everything, white. Meanwhile, my brother had got the plug sockets on the walls, which meant that we had power again in a lot of the rooms as, and we didn't have to rely on extension leads anymore. And we started deciding which carpet we wanted for upstairs too. We also made an amazing discovery with the Toupee Magic Smoothing Kit for smoothing over rough walls. This stuff was great, really can't recommend it enough. It's not sponsored whatsoever, um, I haven't been given it for free or gifted, anything like that. I just, just thought it was a really cool thing. Anyway, back to more painting, and more painting. Once we finished painting everything upstairs, we had the carpet laid, which really transformed the upstairs and all of our never-ending hard work was beginning to pay off. Our house already has built-in wardrobes in the bedrooms, which are really useful, but they needed updating. We removed the old doors, painted inside, had a carpenter around to put in some new shelving and new doors and installed some wardrobe rails. The upstairs was nearly finished, so we soldiered on downstairs. We wanted LVT wooden flooring for the downstairs in the hallway, living room and dining room, which meant we had to remove the Marley tiles which were under the old carpet. This is so we could get the floor damp proofed before the LVT tiles were laid, which was actually quite a good stress reliever and it only took half a day. We ran into a bit of a problem with the dining room ceiling as there were some stains coming through the paint. Thankfully this was resolved though after applying a few coats of stained block paint. We are finally at the stage of putting up some decorative lighting and also installing smart lights on our phones and doing other various finishing touches in the background but the day finally came when the LVT flooring was going to get laid. This was my favourite bit of our house renovation, it's just completely transformed a whole of the downstairs and I just love it and more importantly this meant we could start finally moving in. 
And there's where we are at the moment. We're by no means finished. We need some furniture, that's for one thing. But I thought I'd give a wrap up to where we're at now. So for those of you who have seen my videos before, I hope you've enjoyed something different from me this week. And for those of you who haven't, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with this house renovation journey. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching and maybe I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.